my name is Jessica Dean. I'm the Director of Marketing with AIM Transportation Solutions, and I'm here today to talk with our customer, Tima Roofing Services, about their business model and their partnership with AIM. Tima has taken the commercial and industrial roofing services market by storm in Northeast Ohio. They're headquartered in Youngstown, just like AIM, and we hear all about the amazing things that they have going on constantly. It's an exciting company to be in business with. I have Tima Vice President Justin Freilich on the line. Hi, Justin. How are you doing? Good. How are you today? Good. Good. So, Justin, good tell me a little bit about the services that Tima provides. Yeah, absolutely. And first off, thank you very much for the ask for this interview. Anything associated with AIM is an honor to be involved in. And I was beyond humbled when you guys asked for this interview. So well, um, and with the via Zoom problems that go on in the world, just <laughs> bear with me. Um, so it's interesting, you know, you talk about partnerships, um, the partnership we have with AIM, you know, like a lot of things in Northeast Ohio, we're a family-owned business. Um, I think that's the cornerstone for Northeast Ohio businesses and why if you have a good business, you thrive in this area. Our service is all about partnerships. So I'm third generation roofing contractor in the Youngstown area. Um, you know, our services that we provide are low slope um, installation or uh, uh, design build installing commercial industrial roofing contractor. Um, from maintenance to design to the build to the install to the afterwards, you know, that's our business, but our solution is just finding creative ways to save building owners money through their roofing investment. Well, that sounds like a pretty good situation for a business owner. Um, so what is your reach? What businesses, what geographic areas do you reach out to as far as businesses are concerned? Yeah, as far as us self-performing work, it's usually about a three three hour radius from Youngstown. Um, but we've got partners um, from coast to coast. So we've got very large corporate accounts that we handle their roof maintenance um, at hundreds of locations throughout the United States and throughout the three generations of contacts and doing business on a much larger scale than we are now. You know, we've been fortunate enough to maintain those relationships and even more fortunate enough to run across some of the accounts we have now, which all comes back to providing exceptional service and going a little bit above and beyond just a loan number on a piece of paper, which is what Tima and I know AIM is very similar. It's not a transactional relationship we provide. It's more of a trusting, you've got my back, I've got your back type of partnership that Tima is founded on. And that's everything we hear about Tima is, you know, yeah. that you're a great company to work for and a great great people to work with. So, um, and like you said, you have a long lineage of experience in roofing. So how did Tima itself get started? Um, so my grandfather started with, um, back in the seventies, got into roofing with a big company here called Roth brothers. And he, you know, <laughs> took it to places that he didn't think he would. And, you know, my father coming out of uh, Mount union, uh, took a nosedive into life like a lot of people at his age. He had a lot of mouth to feed already. So my grandfather took him under his wig. And uh, my father and a couple of business partners ended up purchasing that company and took it to new levels that people didn't thought think would exist. And they were able to exit out and uh, start all over. So enter team after uh, my father and his partner sold their previous company, they were able to you know start team up. And the story behind Tima is T-E-M-A, so it's Thomas, Edmund, Margaret, Ann, which are my parents' initials, and the five bars represent their five children. And, you know, people say, oh, well, I work for a family-owned business. No, no, no. I see my mother every day. I see my father every day. She questions me about credit card billings and what's this transaction. So, believe me, it has its perks, and we are beyond blessed because none of us would be doing anything else but this. But um, this is a family-owned business, and we run it like a family, and we treat our customers like a family. That's amazing. I mean, you guys are really the epitome of the American dream. So what a Thank what you. an incredible story that is. Um, so 2020, the pandemic, challenging time for so many businesses. Um, however, all we hear about is how Tima is flourishing. How were you guys able to turn a negative into a positive in that harsh business climate? Those first 
four or five months, nobody knew what was going on, you know, how business was going to happen, who was going to survive. But um, like a lot of things, there is a silver lining and we were deemed um, uh, construction. So we were still able to work on a daily and weekly basis. Um, obviously, we took the right proactive measures with safety and, you know, all the things that you had to have on the roof from hand washing stations to you name it, we went above and beyond to make sure all of our guys were still comfortable working. Um, but to answer your question, I think it all comes back to the relationships we had. Um, you know, a lot of facilities and businesses were empty for a year, but they were still in business, just like AIM. I mean, you guys were working remotely, but they were still in business. So a lot of companies took that time to utilize our business, which is getting a new roof on while nobody's in the office, nobody's in the building. So it gave us a little bit more leeway to set up a different way, work a different way, and just get as much done as we can in a, in a amount of time that we didn't know how long it would last. So yes, it was beneficial to us that we were still able to work, but I don't we didn't get the work because of COVID. We got the work because of the relationships and, you know, just everything boiling back to what we stand by. Uh, so we're hearing about so many supply chain shortages and a lot of it when it's come yeah. to building materials. Uh, how yeah. is that causing a lot of disruptions in business for you guys? Yeah, it's, and I think it's touching everybody in an aspect of their life in one way or another, whether you want to buy a piece of furniture or a garage door or if you want to go get chicken wings that aren't available anymore at Quaker Steak. Um, but construction, in my opinion, has been hit the hardest. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We're all in the same boat. Um, you got to get creative and figure it out. So we've been able to get creative and figure it out. And uh, that goes back to the partners. You know, when you deal on a more private level than a general contracting slash public work level, you're able to have a compromise and an understanding and a conversation to where sometimes it doesn't really work like that. So it's unfortunate. It's been around for a while. Does it look like it's going to get better anytime soon? But that's not an excuse. The job still has to get done and we'll figure it out. Absolutely. Um, so you guys have been leasing trucks with AIM for several years. Have you found that that partnership has helped you guys in your business? I love it. <laughs> And we were, you know, we're friends with AIM first and then business partners with AIM because we've known, you know, a lot of uh, usual suspects at AIM for years and years now, just through golfing and different events. Um, and then, you know, we're at a point now to your point, you know, we're growing at a large scale and trucks are not cheap, especially the trucks that we need. So you have a company like AIM whose sole purpose is to take care of the truck, service the truck. You have a problem with the truck, you call AIM, they'll pick it up, they'll handle it. That's exactly the business model we have. So if there's an issue, we call TEMA. If there's an issue with our trucks, we call AIM. So I think that lines perfectly with the type of uh, uh, conduct that we have with our customers and AIM is AIM's the bomb. And you guys walk the walk, I see AIM at volunteering events. I see AIM at Chamber of Commerce events. I mean, you guys aren't just a company. I mean, you guys are in the community. You're constantly sponsoring, you know, feeding the kids or anything that's going on. AIM is like a lot of companies I mentioned earlier. It's a family-owned business and it's been around a long time. And talk is cheap and you guys are out there doing it. So thank you. Well, thank you too. And I, the same goes for you guys. We're fortunate to have friends and business associates and team uh, both. And yep. um, we have so much respect for you guys and what you do. And um, so Justin, if someone wanted to reach out to you to get a quote for a commercial or industrial roofing job, new or repair, how would they reach out to you? Just go to our website. And that's um, Tima. Yeah. Tima, Tima roofing services with an S.com. Okay. So Tima roofing services with an app.com and there's you know we take pride in our website because it's you know it's everybody wants to know your story and that's where it lives so we have a great partner that keeps it updated daily weekly with all the news and stuff that's going on and anybody who's just looking for general information about who we are and what we do that's a great place and if you want to get a hold of me just go on the website fill out some information and i personally will call you back 
<laughs> well, that sounds like a good situation to be in. So thank you so much for your time today, Justin. Um, again, we're so grateful for the partnership and the ongoing ability to demonstrate to you AIM's value. Uh, thank you for your time today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.